the journal on DW. I'm Amrita Chima with a summary of the world news. The Israeli army has declared a four-hour truce to allow humanitarian access to limited parts of the Gaza Strip. The announcement comes as the UN has strongly condemned the shelling of a school which was housing more than 3,000 refugees. At least 16 people were killed and 90 others wounded. A preliminary UN investigation concludes that Israeli artillery hit the shelter three times despite being informed of its exact location on 17 occasions. Meanwhile, Israeli radio reports that Israel's security cabinet is discussing an Egyptian proposal for a bilateral truce between Israel and the Palestinians. European Union countries and the United States have announced the toughest economic sanctions yet against Russia over its role in the Ukrainian crisis. The measures restrict weapons and technology exports, including the energy sector. They also cut off access for Russian state-owned banks to financial markets. Russia's second largest bank, VTB, has criticized the measures as politically motivated and unjust. In eastern Ukraine, fighting has reached the center of the rebel stronghold of Donetsk. Separatists say at least one civilian was killed when a government barrage hit an apartment block there. The fighting is also still preventing international experts from reaching the site of a passenger plane crash in which nearly 300 people died. Some 150 people are fear trapped after a massive landslide buried some 50 houses in western India. Civil authorities have deployed search teams and heavy machinery to the disaster area in a remote village in the Pune district of Maharashtra state. Torrential rains have been falling for days during the annual monsoon season. Argentinian Economy Minister Axel Kisilov is in New York for last-ditch negotiations to avert a state default. He's left an initial meeting Tuesday night saying talks would continue the next morning. Argentina has only hours left to fully repay $1.5 billion in debt held by certain investors or to cut a last-minute deal. Europe's space agency ESA has launched its last in a series of five supply ships to the International Space Station. The Arana 5 rocket is due to dock with the ISS at a height of some 400 kilometers in about a fortnight. That's it for now. We'll have more news for you at the top of the hour. See you then.